Welcome to my channel and welcome to the video dedicated to my progress in Just My Beckett Griffiths books. We have a long story of love with Just My Beckett Griffiths, but it started not from the beginning of my coloring hobby. When I just discovered her book, it was, um, I think, a month after I started to color. And I, at that moment, I didn't know how to color such kind of pictures. And I wasn't sure that I will be able to color at least one page from her books. I wasn't interested. I considered such pictures very strange. And actually, the first just my back at Griffith's picture, which I tried to color, wasn't in her book, but in Coloring Haven magazine. And of course, paper was different from the paper which we have in the books. But I realized that I actually can color these strange girls. I looked once more at the flip through of the books and I realized that even if all of them are portraits, there is a variety of um, styles or subjects, so you can have interesting things to color. And I purchased my first one. After that, I immediately fall in love with the paper. I still consider paper in uh, Blue Angel Publishing books as one of the best I've ever tried in coloring books. And after that, I collected all four of just my books. Now, when I gathered some of my books with me, you can clearly see which are my two favorites. I would say that Halloween I love probably the best because I absolutely love Vampire Sam uh, created by Jasmine and I also love her uh, illustrations dedicated to Venice and we have a lot of them here in Halloween book. But <laughs> the biggest amount of colored pictures I have in the first book. Here I really appreciate that we have some angels, sweet girls, but we also have some you know, like costume or um, girls from different countries. And we also have some Halloween pictures. I think that just my um, illustrations uh, for the Halloween season, they were my first when I actually had something to color for Halloween. And that's why I love this one, because of the variety of subjects. <laughs> I also have mermaids, but I did only one page there. I will put a... Uh, picture of that one finished <laughs> illustration in the end of this video. And I also have Alice, but I hadn't started it yet. I promised myself that when I return home, I will dive into those two abandoned books. And for now, I can indulge myself in coloring these two beauties. Well, let's start with with the first one, where I have biggest amount of finished pictures. From the very beginning, when I tried to color here with Prismacolor pencils, they are still my favorites. I tested other pencils here, but I'm still stick to the Prismacolors because, as I said, I absolutely enjoy how they blend on this paper, how they layer. And for me, it's like additional pleasure to work with my favorite pencils on my favorite paper. Surprisingly, here I have a lot of um, finished pictures in the very beginning of the book. I didn't uh, try to color everything in order. Uh, actually, I always select pictures here in a very spontaneous way. But I'm glad that you can open my book and you can enjoy several already finished pictures. This one I did two months ago, and at that moment it was a very important page for me. I try to show that we have some area of normality of the normal award, which was kept safe by the girl, and around we have a lot of bad things had happened. When I color in just my books, I always try not to copy completely original paintings by Jasmine. They are amazing. I love all of them. I'm subscribed to all Jasmine pages. But as usual, I try to add at least 
something from myself maybe to change hair color maybe to change slightly color of the background so i'm glad that on all of my pictures there is something from myself they are not uh, totally copied by from just my original works sometimes i simply go to just my gallery and i can uh, catch some interesting color combo or interesting way of coloring hair and i can use it for the other picture <laughs> um, to be inspired but not to copy of course in the beginning i was confused how to color such faces <laughs> in such an original style with a wild eyes uh, with almost no features but then when i discovered just my way of slightly shading area near the nose and sides of the um, head i realized that i actually can do the same thing and not to bother myself by adding complicated shading this one i started in the beginning of february and i finished it in the end of february here again, I was very inspired by the original painting, but colors of the background, um, they are from myself. My favorite elements here, it's this mechanical dragon ding. I'm glad that I did a couple of bright gemstones on it, matching color of their eye and also matching color on her glasses. On this book, on this paper, I love to try new Prisma color combos. I know that the craziest combo you can invent, you can blend and create smooth gradients on this paper. I always <clears throat> try to tell myself that I finally need to color something here with watercolors, but honestly, I hadn't tried them for any of just my pictures yet. I know that watercolors behave well on this paper, but somehow I don't feel that I can use them for just my style, even if I saw a lot of beautiful illustrations created with watercolor by other colorists. Well, this was one of my very early um, works, very old works from this book, and I'm still very proud of it. For me, it was unusual to do a slightly more dark skin tone, not my usual very fair skin. And I did this blue hair. I think that I also love her wings. So everything here, it was quite inventive for me. And I think that I spent a lot of time thinking on all color combos, but now I'm quite proud of my paisley. I always loved this one and it was one of the illustrations which immediately caught my attention when I got the book. This one also was um, a long story. I wanted to show actually the story behind the illustration which was told by Jasmine. I really love that here on the left we have a description, short story about the illustration. And here we have the Pipistrella, Italian for bad. It's about a girl who during the daytime she spends a life like a lady in Venice and during the night time she's a queen of bats. And that's why I decided to make two parts of her costume. I even had to add a little bit of um, hair decoration here because it wasn't enough just to show the difference in the costumes on the wings, on her mask. I also added a little bit of details here to show that we actually are in Venice, so we have north of gondola and those famous uh, parking things to park boats and gondolas. So I am quite happy how creative I was when I did this illustration. I don't know why I hadn't colored any illustrations to the uh, uh, regular traditional fairy tales from this book. I think that will be the next thing which I want to do here. Maybe uh, the Blanchinage or maybe this one. I have to select which will be my next project. Oh, this one is beautiful, but I saw so many already beautifully finished illustrations that I am not sure that I will be able to color this one in my own style. 
here again I try to add at least something for myself from myself for this page so I added a little bit of feathers here on her mask and on her dress to show that they are like two souls divided between all and the girl I'm glad how I did feathers here I hope that everything looks fluffy I tried to make the background in nice autumn muted colors in order to not to distract attention from the girl herself. It's also quite fun each time to select color for the eyes, for the dress. That was my first picture here when I fall in love with the paper, with the book and I still think that it was quite good. I remember that at the moment it was challenging for me to do the moon and I spent a long time studying some reference pictures, thinking which colors I can add apart from the traditional grays and I'm glad how it looks now. And it was the first time when I first did some shading on the white feathers and then outlined them with white paint so they would look more fluffy. Sorry guys, as usual I had to put some <laughs> bookmarks, but I don't have them with me, so... Uh, I also enjoy that in all the books by Jasmine we have such a smaller pictures. Some of them, like this one, I would prefer to color in the bigger size, but some of them are just perfect for quick projects where you have, when you have limited amount of time or when you just need to test some color combos for the next bigger project. So I really appreciate them and I colored already several smaller pictures. Now I am uh, less into the angels mood and more into pirate one. So uh, this pretty pirate Polly I did a couple of years ago and for me it was one of the first pictures where I um, tried to do something unusual to step out of my comfort zone and to do girl with green hair and I met, enjoyed it immensely. It also was one of the first tries to do water with Prismacolor pencils, not with watercolors, and I also love how it turned out. I remember that probably the most challenging part was to color her tattoo. I am not a big fan of tattoo on myself, and I don't know how to color them if I encounter them in books, but here everything I think that it matched her character, and of course I am glad that all attention immediately goes to her face, thanks to the green Hair. And now I am working on her friend, on Captain Mel Molly Morgan. I think that it's time to finish this pair. Again, I decided that such a strong character, she deserves to have something unusual for the hair color. I'm glad that many girls in just my books, they have strong characters, they look not like sweet girls, but strong wild girls and sometimes they look not very happy, they have, they look slightly pissed off and it's fun actually that even with such a simplified faces she's still able to show their personality behind the, um, behind the character. I think that Jasmine, she's such a great artist, I enjoy her work and she is very generous, you know that lately she allows to use many of her artworks as a, a copyright free license so you can select them from her gallery maybe to print for your own uh, purposes so you can use them in many ways and I think that it was a very generous part from just mine. And even if I hadn't colored in two of her books, I still hope that one day she will provide more of them. I know that you can print additional illustrations to purchase additional illustrations by just mine. But as I said, I simply love this paper, so I can't imagine doing them on another paper and another quality. Here again, small illustration, but which I absolutely loved because again I tried unusual hairstyle. I will think that for this video I will leave you a link in the end 
of this review because I think that it actually can be helpful. I do love this one in limited color palette, but it turned out very nicely. I think that I need to do more of this sweet and small illustrations. That's a page which I always want to do, but I'm still not sure if I feel confident to do it exactly in the way which I want it. And maybe this one will be my next project, because I need to do some fairy tale illustrations, and I do love that this uh, uh, Snow White, she doesn't look like a sweet girl again, she is a, a strong willed, and I love that she is surrounded by wolves. Well, I think that, yes, I want to color this one. And I love this uh, series of Loop Garoon. All those girls, they have very beautiful hairstyles and dresses, so I need to find time to color them also. But we are talking about my finished pictures, and my next finished picture is this very sweet, very soft girl. <laughs> and surprisingly, I was more invested into doing the background because I knew that I want background to be dark, but dark with some color accents and pencils and paper, they allowed me to add some colorful accents, a little bit of beige, a little bit of lavender and blue into grey, so even this dark and simple background, it doesn't look dull and boring, and it helped to create nice contrast to the girl herself and to the butterflies. I, here I followed color palette suggested by Jasmine, because it's absent butterflies, so of course I had to use green color. But I am glad that at least something from myself I still managed to add. Here I have skeleton magic. When I did this page, I already saw many beautiful finished pictures, so again, it was complicated to color it in my own way. Here I tried to show that from her magical wand we have some sparkles, she started to, lead, to read the uh, spell, and from these um, green sparkles she tried to uh, put a life into those skeletons, so that's why I put green into their eyes also. Well, maybe it sounds strange, but it helped me to select colors and to color her in my own way. Next one is the page which I finished just recently. It was complicated because um, I wasn't sure which color to select for the waters. I'm still not sure that I love this violet waters, but any shades of blue, they didn't match color of the sky. So I think that for such an unusual uh, uh, thing as an eclipse, sun eclipse, that we can also use unusual color for the water also. At least I finished it. Here the tail of the mermaid is also shiny and glossy because of the golden watercolor paints. Well, another page with tiny pictures. And this one I also would prefer to have in bigger size. but. There are similar pictures in Halloween, so maybe I will do this one as a test page and something similar in Halloween book. Well, that's another page which I enjoyed and when I finished this one I actually decided that I need to purchase the full book about Alice, the last book created by Just Mine. Here I practiced a lot how to color various types of metals. I think that for this coloring I also will put a link in the end of the video, so if you want to color this one, I will post links. I really enjoyed all metal parts here. And Alice here, she also looks sweet, so this one I also love. Actually, that's the book with the biggest amount of illustrations, which I absolutely love. I don't see any faults of them or areas where I had to improve. So, that's a book which I really love to make a flip through, because I am proud of my works. Well, here I encountered some problems, because somehow I started to color this one from frogs, and then I realized that in my attempt to do some um, different color from the original painting, I actually did frogs 
in the colors which I later intended to use for the leaves also. So that's where I wasn't sure in my color choice. But everything else it was good and I tried to use uh, several pastel shades of Prismacolor pencils to create this um, pastel misty background, mil milky background. But this one is probably my least favorite among the finished ones. I wanted to do this one, but somehow I have a big problem regarding this book. As I said, I color with Prismacolors, but I saw many beautiful works, especially these tropical illustrations, which were made by other colorists by combining alcohol markers first as a base and then for the details they used pencils. And I also would like to do the similar way, especially for the pictures which require very bright colors, but I don't want to have a, a mess on this left side. I know that maybe it's crazy. Here we have just a short text, but I don't know why I am so reluctant to start using alcohol-based markers and to have this bleeding to mess up with the left side. Please tell me that I am stupid and that I have to forget about the left side if it can help me to make more interesting actual illustration. I don't know. It's, it's, it's difficult to decide, to make a final decision regarding media which I can use here. And that's the page which I always want to do and I think that one day when I finally uh, select all colors, I will do it. I think that as soon as I have my set of Darwin drawings with their beautiful grey colors, I will do this one because I need a lot of soft greys for all the stone works around her. Because her wings, they have to be made from stone and here we have stone cathedral, so I need bigger amount of soft greys to be able to do different shades of the bricks and stones. Here we have Flora. I am still quite proud of this one. Um, I practiced a lot and I learned a lot from doing all these flowers. And it was again one of the first uh, pencil backgrounds here where I used several shades of colors trying to patiently create those beautiful gradient which somehow reminded me about a little bit amount uh, light on the Monet and impressionist pictures and when I finished this flora I was so happy that I decided that I also wanted to color fauna. Here <laughs> you can see this beautiful beginning and I'm still very happy how she looks for now. But strange thing is that she is in such state for almost three years I believe and my problem was that I started to color it. But I made a blogger mistake. I started to color her without showing all my tiny papers with the pencil names. I decided at that moment that maybe I will do video in new style when I memorize pencils I used and I will put them in like electronic way in the corner on my video and of course I colored this one, I was happy. Then something happened in my life, I was distracted, I returned to editing this initial video in couple of weeks and of course I was too lazy or I uh, forgot half of the names of the pencils and I still have the footage of this uh, beginning without pencil names. I think that I will finish this one but maybe without doing video. Now I am so got used to do to color everything together with filming videos that uh, coloring something without filming or maybe I will do simple uh, speed coloring. If I, it's possible to remember which pencils I use, then I will put them on the screen. Or I will do simple speed coloring just to show some parts of the process. Because the illustration is great, all those animals. And I do love how she looks for now with the ginger hair. I don't know if you can see, but she also has tiny freckles on her nose and I was so proud by this beginning but with this blogger problems I hadn't finished it but I decided poor girl she deserved to be finished and that's all I have in this book 
Eight in Halloween. I have a one test page. At least here I have a bookmark. That's my test page. I did it for, for last Halloween, I think, and here I tested uh, different brands of pencils. I think that this one I did with Arteza, this one with Polychromos, this one it's a mix of Prisma colors and Derwent color softs. And in the end, when I realized that I can use all those pencils here and paper is good for all of them, but still my favorites are Prismas. So the last one, and maybe least inspiring, I did with Prisma colors. Now I have this beautiful page with four tiny pictures. Again, if you need them, I will put a link in the end of the video. It was an interesting experiment. I, it was requested to test Arteza pencils on this paper. And as I said, it's possible to use them, but with slightly lesser pressure, uh, pleasure comparing to Prisma colors. They felt a little bit more waxy and Prisma colors, they were easier to use and to cover paper, but as I said, paper is still great. And just one more finished picture here. It's this Wolf Countess. That's where I discovered that on this paper we can also use um, Derwent drawings. And that's why I wait until I have them again for the stonework. Because I want to do on the on that girl in the <laughs> previous book, in the stone cathedral, the similar thing for the background, where I use as a basic color some cool grays, but when I add additional shades of a light blue, uh, a light uh, violet, light yellow, for some highlights and reflections to make this gray background a little bit less boring. I am glad that here I managed again to put her in my in my own colors of the dress, and that's among the uh, very uh, limited amount of colors of the background, she stands out very ni nicely. Again, I think that I did it during the fall season, and it was clearly shown for the in the colors which I selected for her dress, and it was a good practice for doing fur. I still not perfect at coloring animals in just mine books, but we have a a lot of wolves here, so a lot of practice ahead of me. Well, that's two books which I have with me. A picture of mermaid I will put in the end of the video. There again I tried to uh, take something from the original painting and then to add something from myself. It was complicated because I think that on in mermaid book sometimes they try to uh, use too many black lines, trying to transform our jasmine paintings into line art. But many pictures in mermaid books, they are adorable, especially when girls are surrounded by all those uh, fishes with big eyes and beautiful tails. And of course, I plan to color more of them. I am happy that because of the limited amount of coloring books, which I now have, I can enjoy myself, to indulge myself doing pictures in my favorite books. And I hope that in June, I will manage to finish my Captain Molly Morgan and to start one of the fairy tale illustrations. I think that it will be a Blanche and Ash and Loops. Well, thank you for watching and please tell me if you love coloring in Jasmine Beckett Griffiths books, because I know that people, they are divided. Someone doesn't like her style and some people just like me are crazy in love with her pictures. And I'm glad that we have a lot of fans of Jasmine, because as I said, I consider her one of the best painters and creators of illustrations. Thank you and I will see you very soon.